overall, uh, there's a 3 to 5% incidence of occult synchronous breast cancers on patients who are newly diagnosed. Uh, we did our own study at Hogue and found a 3.4% incidence at Hogue between 2009 and 2010, uh, much in line with uh, national statistics. So again, preoperative evaluation of newly diagnosed breast cancers, we look for extent of disease and synchronous cancers. This is one of my favorite cases, a 77-year-old woman who presented for routine screening mammography. Her mammogram is really uh, a nightmare. She's got a difficult, difficult parenchymal pattern. I think you'll all agree to that. Uh, but obviously, she's got a mass in the uh, left breast is superior posteriorly. Uh, and uh, it looks like it has speculated margins, uh, and this looks suspicious. Here it is on, on the CC view. Obvious mass here. It's about two centimeters in size. And uh, the patient was taken, was called back, uh, and uh, ultrasound examination performed. On the ultrasound examination, here's the mass, left breast, two o'clock, six centimeters from the nipple. It's got all sorts of malignant characteristics to it, including irregular margins, taller than wide, markedly hypoechoic with posterior acoustic shadowing. Uh, this is a ACR BIRADS uh, 5, uh, highly suspicious for carcinoma. Ultrasound guided needle biopsy was done uh, to make a diagnosis. Uh, the patient then had a uh, preoperative breast MRI. And this is what was found. Uh, this is a bilateral MIP, uh, the primary lesion we see here in the posterior aspect of the left breast. But what we could not have anticipated is this uh, enhancement heading down the ductal system all the way to the base of the nipple. Uh, this is a diffuse insight to extension down to the nipple. Uh, if surgery had been done just removing the uh, primary mass within the posterior aspect of the breast, all of this disease would have been left in the breast. And incidentally, uh, a tumor was found in the right breast as well. It's not small. And uh, this was an additional malignancy. Uh, second look, right breast ultrasound was performed. Here it is. It's easy to see now. It's again got all sorts of malignant characteristics. An ultrasound guided needle biopsy was performed. Final histology, left breast, 22 millimeter invasive ductal carcinoma with six centimeters of high grade DCIS extending to the nipple. In the right breast, we found a 14 millimeter unifocal invasive ductal carcinoma. So uh, that case is uh, just a nice example where the preoperative MRI can help us with extent of disease and surgical planning, as well as to identify the synchronous carcinoma present in this case in the contralateral breast.